What's going on? Hello everybody, it's Aaron back from Screen Stars and I'm here once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom. Today I'm here to review the 2021 horror film Shepherd, a film that is written and directed by Russell Owen and it stars Tom Hughes and Kate Dickey. Now the film focuses on Tom Hughes' character Eric Black, who is grieving, essentially his wife has died, um, he's looking for a place in the world for himself and his mother rejects him and he sees a job advertised uh, for a shepherd on um, a lonely island um, on like one of the islands on the outskirts of, out, outskirts of Scotland. Um, he gets a lift there, lands on this island, um, isolation uh, doesn't do it justice. There's one house there with no uh, generator that's working um, and his job essentially is to herd uh, the sheep on this island however um, things begin to escalate as he starts having dark visions um, and he said he begins to fear that he's not alone on this island right what are my thoughts on Shepherd well this is a British made low budget um, slow burn of a horror um, that has got a really uncanny way of getting under your skin. I mean, there is some um, disturbing and unnerving imagery that goes on in this film that will... Ne it's one of those horror films that never allows you to relax. Um, the character is never allowed to relax, so you as an audience member is never allowed to relax. Um, from the from almost the, the moment the film starts, there is this unnerving atmosphere uh, and there's a, this this real sense of dread that looms large over this film um, and like I say it, 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 right at the beginning of the film he gets rejected by his mother he's, 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 he's genuinely looking for a place in, in the world uh, which is why he applies for this job that's going to give him like the isolation that he thinks he needs uh, to move on with his life but um, the island itself is suffocates him if that makes sense um he's, the only company he's got there on this island is his dog um and the sheep um and the routine um is just monotonous but there is this like unnerving atmosphere throughout the whole movie that just will not allow you as an audience member to relax um and you as as the film progresses you get that you get this real sense that uh, something's just not right here um and obviously i'm not going to spoil it but uh, as as the film moves on you you know that just something is not right um what it is you're just not sure the dog's acting strange you have seen some genuinely um frightening things that are going on um very very subtle stuff initially and then it, it, you know you see some really uh, um scary stuff at the same time there's there's, there's th he thinks he's not sure if what he's seeing is real he's not sure uh what's happening his dog goes missing um he's looking for answers um and you just i said you get to this point in the film where you're just like you're not sure where he is and why he's there um and that's essentially the answers that you're looking for which is what the answers is what this character is looking for as well i have to say to say that this actor tom hughes has to carry the majority of this film on his shoulders i think he does a remarkable job um, it's not an easy thing to do with a film like this and a, um, and a performance like this to, to carry the load. But I, I genuinely think he did a remarkable job here. Um, he, he, send, he, he projects that sense of distress and distraught and um, loneliness, loneliness absolutely superbly. Um, but I also thought that Kate Dickey... Um, 
did a really, really good job as well as the, of this. The woman who like takes him to this island um, and is supposed to deliver like supplies once a week. You get to see as the film progresses that her role is something a little bit different. And certainly, it's, it's, this is one of those films that you can't, you, you want to talk about a little bit more, but you don't want to give away spoilers because there's a lot of um, different ways you can view this film in regards to the outcomes and all this kind of stuff um, and what's actually going on because it it kind of leaves quite a lot of it open for discussion. Um, it, it's one of those films that, when it ends, it's, you're not going to be what I would describe as particularly massively satisfied with what it gives you at the end of the film. Um, but for me, I'd kind of made my mind up by the end of the film what it kind of all meant to me. And I think that's that's what the film is meant really for you as an audience member, for you to make your own mind up about what's going on. Um, and I like that sometimes in films. Um, sometimes the, it, it can be so subtle that you're just not sure, so it can be a bit frustrating by the end of the film. But I, I think what we've got here is a really well-made um, slow burn of a, of a horror film that is, that is, like I say, got a really good way of getting under your skin. It, it's got it's unnerving. Um, and I mean, there's there's certain aspects of it that you just like. There's just no way you, I could do what he's doing there. I mean, when he first turns up on the island and you you see you see this house and he walks into it and it's like, I'm sorry, I would I would take one look at a the island and b the house I've got to stay in and I'd be running back to the boat. I'd be beating the woman back to the boat. I'd say, right, take me out of here. You know, I mean, it was properly freaky stuff. Um, and I would there's no way on earth I'd want to do it. So it's like you know them Ben Fogel uh, TV shows where he's um, he goes to visit people that live out in the wilderness somewhere, living this idyllic life. This island ain't it. I don't imagine Ben Fogel would have been impressed either with this island. So, yeah, I've got to say I really quite enjoyed this one. I thought it was um, unnerving and it really got under my skin, and I, I, I was gripped. And there were some genuinely frightening moments um, in the film as well. So. I do strongly recommend this one, guys. I'm gonna actually going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I thought it was, in many ways, superb. Um, it's not for everybody. It's not one of those horror films that is obvious in that sense. It's a, it's a little bit more subtle in its approach, but it's also very, very effective too. So check it out if you get the opportunity, guys. I really quite enjoyed it. So thanks for watching. I'll be back with more reviews and content on Geek Legion of Doom soon.